In this lesson, we'll learn how to clean up our posed character sketch by inking its line work. Okay, so I've got our sketch here, and obviously it's still very, very messy. This is obviously not something that you would want to present as a final piece. So um, if you watched the other manga course that I've done, then you know that there is a step in this process known as inking. Now, inking, I call it that because it's based on traditional pen on paper inking, but we're going to do that here inside of Photoshop. So um, let me go ahead and grab my inks layer here, and uh, you can see here that I've got an adjustment layer, or uh, rather a fill layer to turn my sketch blue, and let me go ahead and grab my brush, and we'll just go ahead and grab this one right here, but I'm going to turn off the pressure sensitive opacity setting here. I'm also going to come over to my brush panel. And let's go ahead and just kind of preview that stroke. I like to come over here also and adjust this to about right there and pinch that in. Now I'm right handed. You may want to adjust that a little differently depending on uh, which hand you draw with. But I like to do that just so I can get um, a little bit more thick and thin action uh, in the strokes that I make. So uh, you can see here there's a stroke. Now I'm going to go with something maybe around for the resolution I'm at. Let's go ahead and go with maybe 8. Let's actually turn the flow up as well here. There we go. I'm going to go with about 8 pixels for my brush size. Now I'm working with fairly large files here, so um, again, that's <laughs> I may have to resize those depending on the final size of the project files. So the brush size you may be working with may be completely different. But um, now it's time to come in here and kind of begin refining this with some nice clean line work. Now um, I'm coming in and making big broad strokes for this hair so I can get a nice straight line. I feel like the slower you go when you're painting a stroke uh, the more opportunity your hand has to shake. If you struggle with uh, shaky lines then uh, consider moving your arm at the elbow as much as you possibly can instead of at the wrist and also making your strokes nice and quick and you'll notice what I'm doing here is I'm actually coming back in and kinda cleaning up my strokes a little bit where they went over so maybe we come in and kinda shave that back and we'll come in here and work on the eyes a little bit let's come in and Again, clean this up as we go. So this part of the process is honestly a fairly time consuming part of the process. So um, I'm not going to be able to ink the entire character with you here. But this is something that honestly, the more time you spend at this step or this part of the process, the better your end result is going to look. So if you spend more time here, well obviously you need to make sure you have a, a solid sketch first. So hopefully what we've gone over already in this course will help you establish that. But uh, the longer you spend on this step cleaning up the inks, um, the better overall the piece will look. So uh, consider that consider not rushing through this step. After all, uh, if you're presenting your piece of work uh, in some form or fashion, whether it's in a portfolio, whether it's on a website, um, maybe it's just in you know your personal gallery or something like that, um, the longer you spend at this step really making sure every line's perfect, um, the better it's going to end up being overall. So uh, I like to make sure that everything is pretty much perfect when I'm at this step. So uh, I like to make sure that all the lines are nice and crisp and that really everything is nice and smooth as well and not shaky. We'll come in here and give her a little bit of a smile. And come in and hit these lines sort of like that. thinking about kind of how the pupil is going to lie here. Maybe it comes in sort of like so. And maybe we just come in with our fill bucket. I'll use the G key on my keyboard to fill that in.
And we can always come in and erase away our highlight. Maybe it's right about there. All right, great. So um, again, I'm just going to kind of work my way around here. Again, we're not going to get through the entire process of inking this character. Uh, I, hopefully you can see kind of how tedious this process is, especially when it comes to getting lines directly with your line work or with your sketch. So um, I want to come in and kind of work at her jaw a little bit here. You know, and the fact that I, I pinched my brush in, uh, that's completely a preference of mine. That's not something that all artists will do. Um, experiment with that. See if you like the effect of having kind of that that crushed brush tip. And if you do, then great. If, if not, feel free to not use that. Um, completely up to you. Come in sort of like that. Now, obviously, some of this is going to go away just simply because we have all this hair that comes down. So I'm going to kind of spend my time up around her face right here. Grab my text tool on accident. Did it again. Let me grab the R key on my keyboard. There's a lot of undoing at this step for me as well. So I like to make sure that each line I draw, I mean, is in the exact place that I intended it to be. I think that the faster you move your hand when you're drawing these uh, inked lines, um, really the sometimes the harder it is to control where the line falls. So uh, another thing you want to make sure and do is come in and clean up little areas like this right here where um, maybe hair, in this case, the hair is covering other hair that we've already drawn, uh, making sure that we just kind of peel that line work back so that um, we don't have any confusing lines there. Let's come up here maybe and, and do work on her little hair tie thing. So the, the process of inking your sketch is really, honestly, it's, it's, it's an art all in itself. There's artists that get paid just to do this when it comes to comic books. So um, this is going to take some practice to get down to where you're happy with it. But um, again, just like with anything else, it's the more time you spend practicing this, the uh, the better you're going to get at it. And that looks pretty good. So uh, let's come back over here and maybe sketch on this a little bit. A lot of my sketch is very loose and really undefined. So um, I typically will come in with a sketch that's a little bit more sound um, from the... Uh, constructive level of it uh, and before I come in and start this inking process but uh, in this case you know there's a lot of room for interpretation on on my part at this at this point in the process um, we have a sketch that's very loose and a lot of areas it's not real defined so um, we have an opportunity to do that now uh, and you know, if there's two different artists that have worked on this, maybe one has done the pencils and the other one has uh, worked on the inks, then um, depending on the artist, they may actually enjoy this amount of freedom. Come over here and maybe work on her other eye. You'll see that when I'm doing this part of the process, a lot of times I will rotate the canvas very liberally. Um, that's because I'm trying to get the best possible angle for my hand uh, in working on a particular area. So feel free to do that. Uh, again, uh, if you're working with an older version of Photoshop, you will need to have uh, OpenGL enabled, and that's in your Photoshop preferences. Uh, but I tell you what, let me go ahead and just kind of pause this. You can see in just under 10 minutes we've how much exactly of this we've got inked here. So what I've got here is I've got another layer, and I'm going to come down here to my inks final. We'll just drag that up. Let me go and show you what a little bit of time uh, spent on the inking process will get you in terms of uh, uh, your final finished product. So we can come in here and... We turn off our head systems, and um, again, you can see here that 
there was a lot of time spent on this. Um, honestly, there was probably an hour or more uh, spent getting all this line work inked in this fashion, but we've got a nice finished product that uh, uh, basically w we have come to just simply by learning how to draw based on a head scale and then translating that head scale into three-dimensional forms so that we can create a posed armature for our character. All right, great. So uh, if you want to wrap up um, by inking your own sketch or feel free to take the sketch that I've included in this file and uh, ink it yourself, I'd love to see the manga that you're creating. Uh, we have our forms available to you. Feel free to post your work there uh, if you want to show it off or if you just want to get some feedback from other artists. So hopefully you've enjoyed this course devoted to drawing manga anatomy and poses. Thanks for joining me.